Now the next concept which we will understand is how to insert watermark page color and page border. The watermark page color and page borders in the in 2013 Microsoft Office Word is there in a design tab which in the earlier uh, earlier version of the Microsoft Word that is in 2007 or 2010 you will see in the page layout tab re respectively over here if you'll see it's in a design tab now what is the use of these three tabs first we'll make use of like we'll understand what is watermark over here by clicking on the icon you'll see a various watermarks which is available in the Microsoft Word 2013 you'll see a confidential do not copy draft sample more as per the requirement you'll get you'll get the uh, watermarks over here if you'll see the confidential watermark you can use if you have a copyrighted version of your particular project report or uh, various other documents so you can use the confidential report a uh, confidential watermark you can also use do not copy or if it's a draft or a sample you can use a draft or as a sample uh, sort of watermark for your respective document I'm selecting confidential watermark and over here you will see a confidential watermark over here has been seen in a particular document the kind of watermark which has been selected is wash out because we need to see the text in a document more visibly rather than the watermark so most importantly whichever kind of watermark you will select for your document you should make sure that it's a wash out now in case if you want if you want to customize your watermark you don't want to select the particular uh, watermark over here you can customize the watermark you can go over here and you can select a text you'll get a various text option as well if you'll select that is a sap that is as soon as possible copy draft original top secret sample this sort of uh, text or the uh, watermark you can select for your particular document now in case if you don't want to select the text means you want to select a picture watermark so you can select no watermark and select the picture watermark over here go to the select picture now from the file from the office clip card if in case you have an online that is the internet connection you can select from the office.com itself from the internet connection now in case I have a file I will browse it in my particular hard drive or in a hard disk I'll see over here the images I'll select the first image and I'll insert in my document and I'll see that it's washed out because I want to see the text the the word which is there in the document more visibly than the watermark so I'll select ok now over here you will see a watermark a light shaded watermark which is washed out over here in a document in the each page of a particular word document you will see this watermark now in case if I'm choosing a online uh, this thing a watermark I'll select uh, I can just type if there is an internet connection I can just type nature you can also select a picture from the online like in the internet connection if you have you whichever topic is there you can select the appropriate pictures over here by just typing the name as in like my topic is natural environment so I'll type nature and press enter and you can select a picture and you can make it as a watermark respectively for your document so this is the feature of watermark which you can use for your document the next is the page color now what is the beauty of page color you can insert a page color to your document to make it more crispy and give it a more wonderful looking the if you'll see a particular uh, pamphlets or brochures or articles magazine articles you'll see they have a coloring pictures so for this particular type of documents you need a coloring so over here if you'll see you can insert particular coloring to your picture to your document light shaded or any sort of shades you can choose you can also give a more color or the fill effects if you have seen like the gradient the texture effect you can give it you can select like I'll select a pale yellow for my document over here I can select a no color as well you'll see this type of coloring I have selected now as in you can see even in the white background the black color text was being visible over here if I, even even the light shaded of pink you can see the text more clearly so this is the feature of the page color which you can choose choose for your particular document or a page respectively this is a, this feature is basically used for uh, making it your document more attractive and more nicely looking or worth looking over here if you will see the page borders the next feature is for the page border now what is the feature of page border a page border is exactly it is a line around the page that is 
it's a kind of a box which will cover your page document fully uh, from the top hand side to the bottom from the left hand side to the right hand side it will make a box to your particular document when you're preparing or any kind of report project you require a page border to your document so you can select the page border over here you will get the various stylings for the page borders like dotted line simple line hyphens line or the double lining the triple lining the darker lining any sort of lining so I'll select this type of page border and I'll click OK so you'll see a particular page box is selected for your document and you'll see uh, the page border over here in your document so this is the feature of page border you can also select a colorful page border for your uh, document like in case if you don't want a black like over here you'll see uh, automatic color is taken so you can choose any of the coloring like I want to select green color page border so I can take a green color and click OK you'll see a green color page color for your document so this will this is the feature of page border and watermark and a page page color in the design tab